There's an old school trick that real estate agents use to speed up deal flow, and it's get you to compare two different things. Humans are really bad at multivariate decisions, so we're really good at binary decisions, this versus that, but we're terrible when the number extends to three, four, or five. That's just how you stop making a decision, you freeze, and you go, I don't know which one I want, right? So real estate agents, what they do is they show you three different properties. They show you two that are very similar, let's say, you know, colonial, and one that's very different, let's say a tutor. And what you end up doing is you end up throwing out the tutor and saying, no, nah, that's not the one I want. And you subconsciously start comparing the two colonials. Again, it's easy to compare two things, so you make the decision really fast. In finance, what's really interesting is oftentimes we don't just have one, two decisions, three, four, we have hundreds of decisions. So anytime a security or an insurance product is multivariate, it's actually borderline impossible for a human to make the decision. So if you're relying on old school advice, you know, the guy in his little office somewhere, what you have is a situation where you have someone incapable of making the right decision for you. They have to lean on really powerful technology. So what we did is we built our own technology so that we can make really complex decisions faster because I'm a smart guy, I'm still a human, and I'm still making poor multivariate decisions. So what's really cool in finance in the future is that software AI is gonna make these decisions faster, easier, and more affordable for everyone. And I think that is a very, very good thing.